this is the base of the skull this is the anterior cranial fossa middle cranial fossa and posterior cranial fossa this is the ethmoidal spine this is the sulcus chiasmaticus tuberculum celli dorsum celli and in between there is a depressed area which is known as the hypophyseal fossa or pituitary fossa this is the anterior clinoid process and these are the lesser wing of the spinoid bone this is the pectoral part of the temporal bone the superior border of the pectoral part of the temporal bone so coming from above this is the foramen of cribriform plate from which first cranial nerve passes and besides first cranial nerve nervi terminalis also passes through this foramen then comes the optic canal from which optic nerve and ophthalmic artery pass through and then the rest of the structure is passed from the superior orbital fissure this elongated fissure which is known as the superior orbital fissure is divided into three compartments superior middle and inferior this is the superior orbital fissure which is also visible if we see it from here so as i said it is divided into three compartments from the anterior from the anterior compartment superior ophthalmic vein fourth cranial nerve frontal nerve lacrimal nerve and recurrent laryngeal branch of lacrimal artery pass through from the middle part abrusens nerve nasociliary nerve and oculomotor nerve pass through from the inferior part inferior ophthalmic vein passes now com coming to the next foramen this is the foramen rotundum from which maxillary division of trigeminal nerve passes through just below the foramen rotundum there is foramen ovale from which mandibular branch of trigeminal nerve passes accessory meningeal artery lesser petrosal nerve and emissary vein just behind the foramen ovale there is a trigeminal impression which is trigeminal imp impression of trigeminal ganglia just below the foramen ovale there is a smaller foramen which is the foramen spinosum from which middle meningeal artery which is a branch of maxillary artery and middle meningeal vein passes through and also mandibular branch of mandibular division of trigeminal nerve just behind the foramen ovale there is foramen lessorum the structures passing through this foramen are internal carotid artery meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery greater petrosal nerve and initiatory vein there is the carotid canal which is present over here from which internal carotid artery passes through this is the petrous part of the temporal bone this is the superior border of the petrous part of the temporal bone over here this is the internal acoustic meatus the structures passing through this meatus are facial nerve vestibular cochlear nerve and labyrinth artery which is also known or internal auditory artery backwards to internal acoustic meatus there is a fissure here elongated fissure which is known as the jugular foramen it is divided into three compartments lateral medial and intermediate from the medial compartment meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery passes from the intermediate compartment 9 10th and 11th cranial nerve passes and inferior petrosal sinus from the lateral compartment meningeal branch of occipital artery and sigmoid sinus passes through this is the transverse sinus from which the lateral border and lower posterior border of the petrosal part of temporal bone this is the sigmoid sinus which passes through the lateral compartment of the jugular foramen just behind the jugular foramen this is the hypoglossal canal which is present just over here as you can see the pink portion from this canal hypoglossal nerve initiatory vein and meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery pass through and lastly the largest foramen which is known as the foramen magnum which is divided by lr ligament anterior narrow part and posterior wider part larger part from the anterior narrow part apical ligament of dense 
upper vertical band of cruciate ligament membrana tectoria passes from the posterior large part medulla oblongata spinal cord with meninges tonsil of the cerebellum anterior spinal artery two posterior spinal artery vertebral artery and spinal accessory nerve pass through this is the mastoid process so just below the mastoid process this is the mastoid foramen and this is the styloid process of the temporal bone so this will be so of the foramen over here will be the stylomastoid foramen from which facial nerve and stylomastoid artery pass through and this is the external acoustic meatus this is the carotid canal foramen lessorum and foramen ovale and spinosum foramen spinosum and this is the incisive fossa